Based on the word of God, it is a sin to kill. The Bible teaches us about the sanctity of human life, and the penalties for sin is death. It is clear that the Bible by no means condones abortion, and in fact condemns it. Exodus 20, 13 states, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal. You have heard that it is said to the ancients, Do not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. Matthew 5, 21. Matthew 19, 18. Which ones, the man asked, Jesus asked, do not murder, do not condemn, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness. And now Satanists are holding the largest satanic gathering in history with hundreds of members from the satanic temple will be in Boston this week for SatanCon. The sold out three day event will include satanic rituals, entertainment and discussion panels. There will also be a counter response, a Christian event called Revive Boston. It will be held in the city this weekend as well. A truck with a Christian action network billboard was parked outside the Marriott Friday. If you are unable to attend SatanCon to support your brothers and sisters in Christ to go against the works of the devil, then please pray against all spells and works of the enemy and pray continuously. We are to have hope and to be holy in anticipation of Jesus' return. This demands preparation and determination on our part, a tough-minded holiness that is ready for action. Revelation 22 12, Behold, I am coming soon, bringing my recompense with me to repay each one of us for what we have done. John 14, 1-4. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. 2 Timothy 4, 8. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. So brothers and sisters, keep your lamps filled while we wait on the Lord and take courage in the times we are going to face. Let us pray for one another, and let's not forget to pray for our enemies. God bless you all. I can hear you call my name. I can hear you.